What's going on you guys? Today we're going to be learning Nothing by Bruno Major. The song's title is Nothing. We're going to be learning a song called Nothing, but I promise you I'm going to be teaching you something. In fact, I'm going to be teaching you so many chords for this song, it's quite the opposite of Nothing. Real quick before we get into it, I would like to ask that if you find this guitar tutorial helpful that you consider subscribing. That would really, really mean the world to me. And one other thing is that I do have a guitar cover of this song coming out later this week. So if that is out already, you can check that out down in the description box. But if it's not out already, make sure you hit that notification bell so you're notified when it does come out. Let's get into it. You are watching Logan's Lessons. We start with our first finger on the 10th fret of our low E string. Our third finger on the 11th fret of our D string and our pinky finger on the 11th fret of our G. Now regarding our right hand, you will pick the low E string with our thumb while simultaneously picking the G string with our middle finger. You then pluck the D string with your index and then again the G string with your middle. I'll do that slowly. Do that with me. Faster now. Okay, great. So moving on, the second chord we have, we will place our middle finger on the ninth fret of the low E string. Our first finger on the seventh fret of our D. Our ring finger on the ninth fret of our G string. And our pinky on the tenth fret of our B. Like so. Now our right hand is going to stay largely the same, but this time we will add in the B string. So what I want you to do is pluck the low E string with your thumb, and just like before, we are plucking the G string with our middle finger, but we also pluck the B string with our ring, all at the same time. It should sound like this. Then, as before, your index on the D string and your middle on the G, so do that with me. Now in context with the first chord, Very good. Okay, so the third chord should be a little bit easier for you. All of it is on the seventh fret. More specifically, your index finger is on the seventh fret of your low E string, your middle finger on the seventh fret of your D string, your third finger on the seventh fret of your G string, and your pinky on the seventh fret of your B string. Same picking pattern as the previous chord. Do that with me. And now in context, I'll do that slow. With me now? One more time. So now our fourth chord we have starts with your middle finger on the 5th fret of your A string, your 1st finger on the 4th fret of your D string, and your 3rd finger on the 5th fret of your G. You just pluck all of those um, strings together, the A, the D, and the G. Maybe give it a little vibrato, okay? So now in context it'll sound like this. Do that with me. Bueno. For our fifth chord, we will place our index finger on the third fret of our low E string, our ring finger on the fourth fret of the D string, our pinky on the fourth fret of the G, and our middle finger on the third fret of the B string. Now regarding our right hand, we will pick the low E and the G string together, then the low E, the D string, the low E, the B, with me very good now our sixth chord has the same picking pattern but your index finger will move down a fret to the second fret of the low E string your middle finger on the second fret of your G string and your pinky on the third fret of your B and like I said the same picking pattern as the previous chord I'll do those two chords together Do that with me. All right, very good. Only two more chords left to go for the verse. We then place our middle finger on the second fret of the A string 
and our index finger moves to the first fret of our G. The pinky finger stays on that third fret of your B string, by the way. Same picking pattern to this chord as well. And then the last chord is actually the easiest. You simply place your middle finger on the second fret of the D string, and you pluck the A string and the D string together. Like that. So the whole first half of the verse will sound like this. Try that with me. One more time. good my friend now the second half of the verse does change but only slightly there's only two variations that we have to make the first is on the first chord we play the picking pattern the same but on the last pluck when you're picking the G string with your middle finger you will extend your pinky finger out one more fret to the 12th fret of the G string like so and then you go on your merry way till you hit the seventh fret chord let me play that first chord for you just like that then you have but right here on the 7th fret chord, you just pluck the E, the D, the G, and the B strings together, and then the D string with your index finger. So, And then you slide this whole chord down one fret so that all of your fingers are on the 6th fret, and you pluck that. And then you keep going through the rest of the chord progression. So the second time through the verse will sound like this. Play the first half of the verse and then the second and half of the verse together. Do that with me. on we have the chorus. We start with our pinky finger on the fifth fret of our A string, our third finger on the fourth fret of our D, and our index finger on the second fret of the G string. You pluck all of those strings, then the D string with your index, and then the G string with your middle. Then you move on to the second chord, where you will be barring across the entire second fret of all of your strings with your index finger. And your ring finger will be on the fourth fret of your D string, and your middle finger on the third fret of your G. And the same picking pattern for that chord. It's just that your thumb moves up to the low E string to cover the root note. Like that. to the B minor chord to play a B minor chord you're going to bar across the second fret of your A string downwards then put your third finger on the fourth fret of your D string your pinky on the fourth fret of your G and your middle finger on the third fret of your B string and we do need a bar because with our right hand we will pick the A and the B strings together with our thumb and our ring finger we hit the G string with our middle finger and then we hit the high E with our ring you gotta cover that note. Like that. Do that with me. And then our fourth chord. We have our first finger on the fifth fret of our A string, our middle finger on the fifth fret of our G, and our third finger on the fifth fret of our B string. You just pluck all of those together. So far, the first four chords of the chorus are as follows. Play that with me now. Four are 
are going to resemble the latter half of the verse chord progression, but at the end we face a slight deviation. So we have the same. But right here, instead of hitting that B string, what we're gonna do is place our middle finger down on the second fret of the G string, and then we lift it back off, so we pluck that G string, and you lift it back off and you play the A string and the G string together. That's in place of the A. So instead you have a Do that with me now With the first four chords of the chorus This little turnaround at the end of the chorus. Like so. To do that, we're going to place our middle finger on the seventh fret of the A string, our third finger on the seventh fret of the G string, your index on the fifth fret of your B, like so. And we reserve our pinky finger for hammering onto the seventh fret of our B string after the first plug. So you pluck the A string, the G string, and the B string together, and then you immediately hammer on with your pinky finger onto that 7th fret of your B. Like so, do that with me. Then pick the A string, the G string, the A again, the B, and finally the A one more time. I'll do that slowly. Do that with me. Right there you lift your pinky back off and you kind of strum with your index fingernail down the strings. It should sound like that. And then you do the same A string, G string, A string, B string, A string again. So. I'll do that slowly. Do that with me. Our next chord starts with a bar across all of the strings on the third fret. You'll pluck the low E and the high E together. Right as you do that, you hammer on with your pinky onto the fifth fret of your high E string. You then pluck the G string, the B string, then the high E string, like so. And then we have only one last chord for the chorus, where you'll be placing your index finger on the second fret of your D string and your third finger bars across the third fret of your G, B, and high E strings. Like so. And you just strum that out with your thumb. So that turnaround should sound like this. Do that with me. context with the rest of the chorus. Do that with me now. Give yourself a pat on the back. We've got through a lot of the chords. We're kind of like maybe halfway through the song now. We now get into a post-chorus, or just a transition in between the chorus and the verse. What happens after the chorus changes every time. We start with this D major seven chord. To play a D major seven, you're going to place your index finger on the fifth fret of your A string, your ring finger on the seventh fret of your D, your 
middle finger on the sixth fret of your G string and your pinky finger on the seventh fret of your B. Now regarding your right hand, you will pluck all of the strings, then the A string, then the G string, then the A string, then the B string, and back to the A. Yeah, do that with me slowly. One more time. Faster now. Then you hit this chord with your middle finger on the fifth fret of the A string, and your first finger bars the fourth fret of your D and G strings. Then you just pluck the A, the D, and the G together. Then you go back to this chord, but you just stop when you strum the strings with your index finger now. So. that with me. One more time. So that drops you into a second verse which is identical to the first verse, a second chorus which is identical to its previous counterpart, but then the post chorus changes the second time through to prepare us for the bridge. You do the same Right here, we place our first finger on the fourth fret of the A string, your third finger on the fifth fret of the D string, your middle finger on the fourth fret of the G, and pinky finger on the fifth fret of the B string. Same picking pattern as the D major 7 chord. Do those two with me. And right here we have this walk up starts with our middle finger on the 4th fret of the D string and your 1st finger on the 3rd fret of your G. Pluck those two together, then we go up to the next chord which starts with our 3rd finger on the 6th fret of the D string and your 1st finger on the 4th fret of your G string. And then you just slide that up 2 more frets for the 3rd chord. So that your 3rd finger is on the 8th fret of your D string, and your index finger is on the 6th fret of your G. Walk up. That post chorus will sound like this. Do that with me. leads us into the bridge. If you've made it this far, you can definitely do this. Nothing in this song moving forward is out of your reach. It's just a bunch more chords and the ending is actually kind of my favorite part. So push through my friends, you've got this. The bridge starts on a B minor chord, but we've already learned a B minor chord. It's the one with your index finger on the second fret of your A string, your third finger on the fourth fret of your D string, your pinky finger on the fourth fret of your G, and your middle finger on the third fret of your B string. This time you do not need to bar. Now regarding your right hand, we will be picking the A string, then the D string, the G string, the B, the D again, and then the G. Like so. Do that with me. And that picking pattern stays consistent for the next two chords as well. The second chord is quite easy from here, actually. We just move our index finger down a fret to the first fret of the A string, leaving all of the rest of our fingers in their place. So, And then thirdly, we just take off our index finger, and the same picking pattern still applies. First three chords will sound like this. Do that with me. And then the next two chords. You will place your index finger on the sixth fret of your D string, your middle on the seventh fret of your G string, and your ring finger on the seventh fret of your B. You pluck all those together, and then just the G string with your index finger. 
we then change chords so that our middle finger is now where our index finger was. You place it on the sixth fret of the D string. Your ring finger on the seventh fret of your G string. And your index finger on the fifth fret of your B. Same picking pattern. So far the bridge will sound like this. Do that with me. Then we move on over to this chord shape where we place our ring finger on the ninth fret of the D string and we bar across the seventh fret of the G, B, and high E strings. To pick it, we will first hit the D string with our thumb, then the G string we hit with our index finger, then the B with the middle. We then strike down across those strings with our index fingernail. So far. We then place our pinky finger down on the ninth fret of the high E string, and you pluck the high E with your ring finger. extend your pinky finger out one more fret to the tenth fret and you pluck it again. Do that with me. Very good. We then slide this chord shape up two frets so that you have your ring finger on the eleventh fret of your D string and your index barring the ninth fret of your G, B, and high E strings. Then what we're going to do is place our pinky finger on the eleventh fret of the B string and we do the same picking pattern as the previous chord. But this time instead of our pinky finger, we're going to use our middle finger on the 10th fret of the high E. And then our pinky comes down to the 12th fret of the high E. So this chord will sound like this. Do that with me. Like so, so far. we have is our third finger on the 12th fret of the D string, our middle finger on the 11th fret of our G, and our first finger bars across the 10th fret of our B and high E strings. Then we use our pinky on the 12th fret of the high E, and then we slide it up to the 14th. And last chord, we just take this exact same shape and move it up two more frets so that our third finger is on the 14th fret of the D string, our middle finger is on the 13th fret of the G, and our first finger bars across the 12th fret of our B and high E strings. And you just strum that out. Like that, so far. Do that with me. Now in context with the rest of the bridge that we've already learned. Do that with me. have this little thing. Which is quite fun. What you will do is bar your index finger across the 10th fret of your A string downwards. Then place your third finger on the 12th fret of your D string. Your middle finger on the 11th fret of your B. What you do is strum across all of the strings with your index finger now, then hammer on to the 13th fret of your high E with your pinky finger. Then you take that finger back off and you pick the high E string with your ring finger. Then you pluck the B string with your middle. So if I do that slowly, do that with me. One more time. Very, very 
good. Then you move so that your index finger is barring across all of the strings on your eighth fret. Your ring finger should be on the 10th fret of your A string and your middle finger on the 9th fret of your G. You hammer on to the 10th fret of your B string with your pinky finger for this chord. Same picking pattern. So, like that. Do that with me. One more time. Then you move up so that you do the first chord just down a fret so that your first finger is barring across the ninth fret of your A string downwards. Your third finger should be on the eleventh fret of your D string, your middle finger on the tenth fret of your B, and that pinky hammers on to the twelfth fret of your high E. And then you go to basically the fourth chord is the same as the second chord just moved down a fret. So your index finger is on the seventh fret of all of your strings. Your ring finger should be on the ninth fret of your A string, your, your middle finger on the eighth fret of your G, and your pinky finger hammers on to the ninth fret of your B string. Like that. So the whole thing being. Do that with me. One more time. And we are in the home stretch of this bridge, but before we get into the last two chords of this bridge, let me play what we have so far. our index finger across all of the strings on the seventh fret, or you can just do the A string downwards really, and then your third finger goes on the ninth fret of the D string, and your pinky on the tenth fret of your B string. We pluck the A, G, and B strings together, then the D string, then the G string, then you take your pinky finger off and you pluck the A, G, and B again, then the D string. Finally, you place your pinky back onto the 10th fret and you just pluck that B string. So that chord should sound like this. I'll do that slowly. Do that with me. Faster now. Great, so now we're on the last chord of the bridge. You will place your ring finger on the 13th fret of your A string your middle finger on the 12th fret of your D, and your index finger bars across the 11th fret of the G and B strings. You just pluck all of those strings together. So the entire bridge will sound like this. with me. Okay, and that puts you into a verse, which is just shortened. You just play the first half of the verse. And that puts you into 
into another chorus, which is the same as always. And then we have the outro. The outro is the last part of the song we have to learn. And it's so fun. So right after the chorus, when you play this part, instead of going here to the D major seven, what we do is instead replicate the first chord of the chorus just on the seventh fret. up to the next chord where we will bar across the ninth fret of our D, G, B, and high E strings with our index finger, put our middle finger on the 10th fret of our B string, and our pinky on the 12th fret of the high E. You pluck the D string and the high E string together, then the D string, the G string, and then the B string. Then you do the D string and the B string together, but you remove your middle finger. So, that with me now in context I'll do that one more time third chord we have starts with our ring finger on the 14th fret of the D string a bar with your index finger across the 12th fret of your G B and high E strings you strum that out with your thumb and then you hammer on to the 14th fret of your high E string with your pinky. And then you take that pinky finger off and pluck all of those strings one more time. Then we have this thing which is just so good. You bar your index finger across the D, G, B, and high E strings on your 11th fret. You place your middle finger on the 12th fret of your G string and your pinky on the 14th fret of your high E. You just pick each of those notes, the D, G, B, and high E, in that order, very dramatically. I'll do what we have so far for the outro. And then we have these double stops. Here's how to do that. You slide up to the 11th fret of your G string with your middle finger. Then with a bar across the 10th fret of your B and high E strings with your index finger, you then just pluck those. Then you pluck the G string one more time. Then you slide up to the 10th fret with your middle finger, put your first finger on the 9th fret of your B string and your third finger on the 10th fret of your high E, and you pluck those together, same shebang, you place you play your uh, G string again, so. Then you slide up to the ninth fret with your middle finger, place your first finger on the eighth fret of your B string, and your third finger on the 10th fret of your high E. Like that, so. I'll do that slowly. Do that with me. you just bar across the not the seventh fret of your G and B strings with your index finger and you also let the D string ring out like that. do that with me a little faster now okay one last time Now the entire outro will sound like this. Do that with me. How You Play Nothing by Bruno Major. To watch the cover of this song that I did, you can find that up here. If you wish to be notified of future videos, hit the bell. I sincerely hope that you're well. Please do me a favor and hit that like button blue. I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe too. I hope this video has been a blessing. You've been watching Logan's Lessons.